Hi, Janet here with a one-off video and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Janet returns for a one-off video. Trans Living, Issue 32 Magazine Review, plus a message to a friend on YouTube. Welcome back. Today, I want to review um, a Trans Living International magazine. It's, um, it, the company is based in Essex, near London, and uh, the current issue is number 32, and here it is right here. It came through the post on Thursday of uh, last week, because it's coming Saturday, and it's a very good magazine. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff in here. I'll tell you some of my favourite parts of it. Um, I did an article once for this magazine, and uh, all you got to do is just type one up on either a word processor or a computer, and email it into them. They, um, they publish it into the magazine and um, if you're a subscriber you'll receive your own copy through the post. Um, there's a competition on the we on the website www.transliving.co.uk um, on the forum on there you can um, enter a competition it's, got, it's a picture competition and it means you have to uh, email some of your um, photographs into the um, the editor, which is called uh, Shane Marcus, and he'll choose the photos of what's the best ones or whatever, and a whole lot of other people do the same thing, and there's like one in a chance of a whole lot of people winning a, winning a year's subscription to this magazine. But for, apart from that, you would have to pay, pay to... Um, Pay to be a member, and I don't know how much it costs. Um, no, I don't know how much it costs because um, there was another competition of um, of how many um, referrals you get from the forum, and I had one referral, and this is my second um, in three years subscription. I didn't do the photo. Uh, uh, yeah, the first year of my free subscription, I won the photo competition, and that's but the first year and the second year was the free referral on the um, forum to get friends to join the forum and um, I won another year and this is my second year subscription so I get every it's a quarterly magazine so it's so it's brought out annually I think but it's a very good magazine I've got about seven of these up to now before I joined the trans living magazine I was with the Beaumont Society they did a magazine as well, and that lasted for um, for one year. It's a membership for one year, but um, with these, they've been with for two years up to now. And it's a very good magazine, as I say. Um, I've done an article, you know, generally speaking, about my feelings and stuff, and uh, um, writing it all down, and uh, members reading it. You can also buy this magazine in selected shops as well, special uh, transgendered clothing shops. Like one particular, there's one in London called uh, Doreen Fashions, and um, or you can buy it directly from Trans Living on www.transliving.co.uk. Um, oh yeah, and the forum, the discussion forum, based on this magazine is so good. You make a whole lot of nice new friends on there, and that the forum address is www.transliving.org.uk, and that's the discussion forum. Register is completely free to use, and I'm on there um, pretty much a, a whole, uh, quite a lot. So, and uh, if you want any advice or anything, just uh, check that out, and it's really cool. And my favourite part of this particular magazine, magazine there's like those nice little pictures. Oh yeah, a little while ago, because I'm a member, I had my um, one of my advert tape done. Um, just here it is just there yeah um, so that's like an advert I'll just read that to you it says my name is Janet I'm an occasional transvestite 
who seek in friends in my area who cross-dress like myself. You can email me and visit my website by using the following information. My email address, which is james.johnson1984 at googlemail.com or the website, this is my website, www.freewebs.com forward slash infem. And that advert was done a little while ago when I was happy as living as a, an occasional transvestite part-timer. But now uh, my feelings are getting quite um, bad and I'd like to take it up on a full-time basis. But that's um, it's quite hard in this situation I'm in at the minute. But um, back to the magazine. As I, as I say, there's a whole lot of um, pictures in here. Let's just uh, find a little bit of it. Here we are. Nice few pictures of some tea girls. See? Just there. And another one there. Very good. It's a nice glossy magazine throughout. Full colour pictures. That this um, bit here. This is the current um photo mag photo competition winner. And her name is well, Helena Love. Yeah. Issue 32 winner. So what you gotta do is either join the discussion forum or um get or pay for a subscription because it's a very, very good magazine. And there's a helpline number through hit it through this magazine as well. The helpline number is 01268 583 761 and they're very helpful people because I made a phone call to them once and uh, they were very helpful with um, what I wanted to talk to them about so yeah anyway I'll just tell you my favourite bit of this issue particularly this one here the, it's called um, a Year in the Life of Susie Lou Hellfire, or How the Hell Did I Get There? And uh, it, it, this this features one of the girls I made at uh, Bristol Crossroads, and she even mentions me in this um, this this uh, article. I read this little bit that she mentions me in. It was later that month, the Bristol Crossroads barbecue, and um, me, Janet, and uh, another girl called Tara get mentioned in this article. And it's very, very good. And my other favourite part of this magazine was um, a transsexual story of a um, first ever holiday out dressed as a woman and living as a woman. Um, the, the article here, it is here. And that's her um, little story about her first ever holiday dressed as Annie. And it was a very good story. And also my um my the final part that I liked about this article was in fact um ah here we are. This girl I met as well at a Bristol Crossroads uh, barbecue. Yeah. And um well this particular girl lives up in uh, London but came down comes down sometimes to Bristol for the events like um Bristol Crossroads. There's another one on um, Bristol's harbour side, but you'd have to go on to um, the Roses Repertory Forum for that and look look into that. But that's another very uh, good uh, meeting place. But I've not been to that one, so I can't say much about it. But here's another girl that I know. It goes by the name of Tara Martell. I've met a few times, and this uh, particular story is called a, a Tea Girl in the Royal Air Force: Further Adventures of Tara. And this uh, this story particularly is an ongoing series, and the next um, the next story part of the story features. After discharge, I went straight to London and studied footwear design. But that's another story, so that's going to be in next month's issue. Well, uh, in the next issue, whenever it's going to be coming out. But it's a very good magazine, and um, here's a little look at the back cover. And there's the front page. So I hope you enjoyed this little review of the latest Trans Living International magazine. And um, um, I have a little message for a friend of mine. And um, 
she's a friend of mine on YouTube on the um, YouTube, on my uh, friend list on YouTube. Um, I've subscribed to her channel, and she's she's uh, subscribed to mine. Um, her name is uh, Anastasia Cantor, and I just wanted to say hello and um, thank you very much for contacting me through uh, YouTube. And um, I'm um, looking very forward to meeting you at um, August's um, Crossroads. But um, with this vid video coming to the end, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye until I do eventually come back. So, bye! The end. Thanks for watching.